what's up everybody tweets here in this video um it's gonna be kind of a quick one i am going to show you how to make a custom slot for the player for the character um you know like the basic slots like the shoulders your uh hips your back back slots the main slots on the top um some mods similar have done this like um the namas mod with the suit um, the dog tags mod. Um, so pretty much you're just going to make your normal stuff, like whatever item you want to attach to it, which I've shown videos on how to make many items. Um, and then your config. Now in your config, I have it combined here, but you can separate it if you want. But I just made a quick little pouch to throw in the slot. But the main things you're going to want is you're going to want to make sure you have these required add-ons. Easy data, easy scripts. Uh, gear Medical, I did just... I originally had this as an NBC pouch a while back. Um, masks, consumables, easy characters. Mainly easy characters, scripts, and data. You're going to want. Um, and then for the actual setting up the slot. So you're gonna want this section here. This is class man, man, uh, survivor base man. You don't wanna make sure you have the, these are the basic vanilla attachments. And then you're gonna add your slot. So it's just like a normal slot config. And I've shown in, um, a bunch a few, couple of my tutorials especially my um how to make your own icon which i will link that in the description too you can use i just went with the vanilla pouches icon for this so you're just going to make your normal slot and then you're going to add your slot to the inventory equipment player slots along with all the vanilla slots which this will be this file will be in the description. You can download it and use it, copy, paste, change your to your stuff all you want. And then you're gonna add your slot to the attachments. So player slots and attachments. And then make sure your item has your inventory slot as your slot. Um now, if this is going to work, if you're using mods like Dog Tags or the mods that have that extra added item, it's not going to work unless you add their slot also to the attachments in player slots. So you're going to have to add their slot, Dog Tags or whatever their slots are, and attachments also. Or else their slots won't show up, only your custom slot will. And then you'll probably have to add their mod to the required add ons. Um, other than that, it's, yeah, it's pretty much straightforward. It's just like a normal container item for your item. Or what I, well, that's if you do a container. You could be doing something else, but. The main key is this here. And you just want to make sure you got your slots correct. And that's, that's it. And then you just pack it up. And then when you load to test it, you'll see in game that you, I have a slot right here. And then this is the pouch that I made. And then I'll attach to it. Now you got the extra slot, you got an extra inventory, or whatever item you're going to use. That's pretty much it. Now, again, if you're going to use Dodd Tags or other mods, you're going to have to add their slots. Um, so, make sure you, uh, you do that. If not, like I said, they won't work. Only your slot will show and all the vanilla ones. And that's pretty much it. 
Um, it's pretty easy. It's not too hard. Um, if you're going to separate it, make your own multiple, like, what uh, you could do is have this be your CFG mods config. Inside here, you can have, like, um, your item that you made that will go in the slot. And then in here, I would do, like, a data. Put all this stuff in there. And then in here would be your config. I'm just going to leave this as a text for example. And then you could have underneath that slot. And then you would have this stuff right here. Because you want CFG vehicles. So you would remove your container. Have that. Call this like slot or whatever you want. Whoops. There we go. And remove that out of units because you don't need it. If you're separating. And then you would just save that. Put it in slot. And then you would take the uh, container one, take this, and then save this as, well, also given it, make sure you always make sure you have your paths. Correct if you're doing it this way. Save that as put it in with the item. And save. Yes. Uh it overwrite the text, which is fine. I could just get rid of that for a minute. And then keep that on here. And there we go. And then if this is only if you're separating everything, which I like to tend to do, but also make sure your paths are good in your um, RV mat and your P3D as well. And then once you have it set like that, this will become your CFG mods which I can just use from a sample here. If you have scripts too, you would uh, add the um, proper dependencies to the CFG mods. If not, then don't worry about, if you're not gonna use scripts, don't worry about this section here. To just delete it. If you do have scripts, then leave it. Just set up your CFG mods with their file name. Put your name as the author, and then boom. And now it's set up proper as a sep all separated. And then you pack it and you're done. And then you got your uh, your slot all ready to go. If you have any questions, you can join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Along with link to my custom slot and uh, icon tutorial. And link to the file. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one.